get her done. Then a row two, row two <coughs> outside the 17 from the 619 San Diego, California. The 17 of Gary Rodriguez. And we pick up roll number three on the inside out of San Jose, California. The straight up X. It's Rob Gallagher and to his outside, the C4 of James Cornelius out of Tulare, California. Row number four has got from Bakersfield the zero, Jagon Justin Gonzalez. And on his outside, the Terry Bedford Concrete and Construction, A Sign Factory, St. Clair Realty, Kern Body Works, Bridal Association of American MFT Race Cars from Bakersfield the 17T, Brian Terry. And in the back, race fans. Roll number five on the inside. This Spain Howard trucking Terry Henry race prep. Bakersfield Ice and Skinny's Automotive. It's the Bakersfield Bullet. It's Nick Spain Howard. Spain Howard doing triple duty tonight. American Hobby Sport Mod. Here we go, race fans. Lights are out. We're going green for heat race. Number one of the H&S Body Works and Zoyan Hobby Stocks at the 33rd Annual Budweiser Nationals. And it's Nicholas Johnson on the high side. Around goes the 17 of Gary Rodriguez. Collects Nick Spain Howard once again. Spain Howard getting the unfortunate end of, of some of these spin outs. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, we've got our teal and white Moxie Media checkered flag up for auction. You can bid now on the yellow card that's just below me in the up here at the Mike Mosier Tower. It's we're taking auctions all the way until tomorrow. We'll get rid of it tomorrow to the highest bidder. Now, all that money we, we accrue from that flag might go into the Bailey Schweitzer Memorial Scholarship Fund and care of Kern Community Foundation. I'd like to honor her memory with the teal and white checkered flag. Last year, we donated to her favorite charity as well. And this year, working with the Schweitzers, that's the charity they'd like that money to go to. Come over here to the announcers booth, make a bid on that. On that commemorative race used checkered flag, autographed by some of the biggest names here at the Budweiser Nationals. Not a single bit on that thing yet. Race fans, get over here, take a little bit, take home a piece of history from the Budweiser Nationals. <coughs> Underway in racing with our Hobby Stock Division. A pair of number ones up front setting the pace. It's the 1G of Joe Gallagher and the 1N of Nicholas Johnson. Nicholas Johnson actually has his name on that checkered flag. Look at, oh, out of turn four. Oh, my goodness. Good job of driving by Joe Gallagher. He got that car sideways. Had it going every which way, but Luce got it caught up. Back under his own power. That's going to give the number 1N, Nicholas Johnson, the lead. Yeah, that was a great job by all those hobby stock drivers to avoid hitting him, too, because he wiggled, 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 and he, everybody missed him. Right in front of all the cars out at the turn four. The number 14H on the move, or 14J, Justin Dunn on the move. We work in that high groove. He's running right behind the 17 of Gary Rodriguez. Yeah, it was interesting today. We saw that 14J come through, and it has a number eight sticker on the back wing of it. And we were wondering if... Somebody from Santa Maria was going to show up. Then we saw the 14J on the side, and we're like, all right, it's get her done. He's back in the house. But right now, Nicholas Johnson, the surfer kid, riding the wave to the point. Oh, yes, he is. As he comes out of turn number four, he's got a healthy lead over that 17T of Brian Terry. Then you pick up that 14J of Jason <coughs> Dunn. And the battle now with Dunn and the X of Rob Gallagher out of San Jose, California. Gallagher going to get that position now. He'll move up to the third spot. But still out front, it's the one in and Nicholas Johnson. The yeah. battle now for the second and third and fourth spot. But Dunn's on the on the war path. He's all over the backside of Gallagher. Yeah, Gallagher and the X machine giving it to Justin Dunn right now, going, you're not taking this third spot from me. Well, it's Dunn, Nicholas, Nicholas Johnson, right your back. leader. Nicholas Johnson now with a full Ooh. straightaway advantage over the 17T of Brian Terry. Yeah, that X machine, it's snapping around really hard coming out of the turns. Boy, Gallagher, yeah, he had that bobble coming out of turn number four. White flags out, one to go, and Nicholas Johnson still out front with that healthy lead. The battle now for the second spot with Gallagher and the 17T of Brian Terry. Brian Terry looking to make a move out there to try to separate himself, but it's just not happening. But who separated themselves? Your winner, the one and Nicholas Johnson. 
Terry gonna come home in second. X gonna give you a third place finish. Then you got Justin Dunn in fourth spot. Spain Howard will make it back up into fifth. Then you've got the one. The one of Gallagher up into the sixth spot. And rounding out your field was Justin Gonzalez in the zero. All right. Looks like it's going to be heat race number two. The heat's this body works in towing hobby socks. And now the pole race fans. It's the West Coast Boring Children's Graphics, Wilson's Industry Pumps. And thanks to Larry Childers, it's the new daddy. It's Brock Crawford in the 8K out of Bakersfield. And to his outside, he comes to us out of San Diego, California, the 28 of Brian Brown. Row number two from Bakersfield, running in the 37 car tonight, Matt Crawford. And on the outside, making the trip from Santa Maria, California, the Condon Motorsports 81X, Jacob. Jones. And we pick up row number three, race fans. This name is infamous in the racing world. Driving the number 20 car out of Springville, California. It's Charles Ball into his outside. It's the A1 Automotive Curtain Transmission and Cowboy Gears. It's Perry Alderman Jr. out of Bakersfield. Row four from Gonzalez, California. The 1N. Billy Nelson. And on the outside, speaking of a infamous name in racing, doing double duty with the same car tonight, the 114 from Paso Robles. That's Rich Denman. Then we pick up the fifth row on the outside, or should I say on the inside, the 15C. He's done his car in a throwback of his father's car from the 80s out right. of Santa Maria, California. It's Chris Whiteford. Yeah, he's and got I've the, seen that one. Yeah, he's got the Infinity Graphics, yep. which is Jacob Jones. Jacob Jones and him, both are Condon Motorsports vehicles. Yes. Jake Jones does all the wraps for those cars yep. and all the decal work. So, And Chris does all the body work for the cars. There you go. It's a trade so, deal. There yeah, it's, it's a great thing that those guys do together. Green flags in the air. We're racing. Yes, we are. Looks like Crawford spins the tires in the 37 machine. And when that happens, everybody else goes, hey, I thought we were going. <laughs> Boy, Brown and Jones not wasting no time, Mike. Oh, they know what's behind them. They know they got to get out there because there's going to be some <coughs> quick cars coming. Jake Jones up to the second spot. Brown in first. And now his brother's battling for the third spot. Oh, yeah. It's got the Crawfords. It's got Daddy Crawford and Uncle Crawford now, yeah. right? Yes, who it is. Bro Brock Crawford down in the middle. Matt Crawford up high. There, Here comes Billy Nelson. He'll move to the inside. He'll move to that third stop. And Brock Crawford right there in the mix. Yeah, Rich Denman, Chris Whitford, both looking, going, how do I get through this thing? <laughs> As it's a bottleneck for the back half of the field. Well, there are three wide right in front of him. He's kind of got nowhere to go at this point, but he is doing everything he can to make his way towards the front. Yeah, and it's not like he has a tiny car. He's running an American stock in the hobby stock class. <laughs> yeah, that is not a small car by any means. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I can't fit it in a three-foot hole anymore. <laughs> But out front is the man out of San Diego, California, the 28 of Brian Brown. Then we pick up the 81X of Jake Jones, the 11 of Billy Nelson in the third spot, and the 8K of Brock Crawford. Chris Whitford trying to make a move up into the fifth spot, but it's got Perry Alderman Jr. on the high side. You can see the difference right there between an American stock and a hobby stock. Rich Denman just doesn't have the same power as some of these guys. No, nah, he's got too many groceries in the grocery getter, Mike. Yeah, it definitely does. That <laughs> extra 1,000-plus pounds yeah, in those exactly. cars definitely oh, holds him up. Oh, Crawford saw the, the side of that. Rich Denman saw the front of Crawford and said, I don't want any part of that one. So Yeah, I don't want to be doing no fender or bumper work, but we'll get through it. But still out front with a fairly good lead over Jake Jones is that 28 of Brian Brown. Brian Brown definitely putting on a clinic. We got Crawford up in the wall. He's cleaning the wall. He said, oh, I just need to put a white one up there so I can make sure that I know where that wall is at for the next lap. Brian Brown just took the white flag, making his way down the backstretch, nearly halfway down into turn three. Now that beautiful number 28 going to make his way to turn four to pick up the win. Brian Brown picks up the win. Great job of driving. Your second place car is going to be the 81X of Jake Jones out of Santa Maria. Then we pick up the 11 out of Gonzalez, California. Billy Nelson, the 8K of Brock Crawford, the 52 of Perry Alderman Jr., and the 5C of Chris Whitford out of Santa Maria, California. Then it goes Denman, Matt Crawford, and rounding out the field, the 11 and Billy Nelson. An impressive run by Brian Brown. That is a beautiful race car. Yeah, 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 he, uh, yeah, yeah he kept it clean too. Yeah, a beautiful car. Beautiful, uh, paying respects to our law enforcement as he's got the American flag on there. 
Very nice, clean car. Up next, looks like Heat Race number three of the H&S Body Works and Touring Hobby Stocks. Did you see what just happened on the track? Brian Brown made his way down the front straightaway, went to the exit, and said, oh, wait a second, jerk the wheel to the left. He's going to make his way to the infield now to get to the scales. They All right, this looks like this, race theirs. fans. Heat Race number three of the H&S Body Works and Touring Hobby Stocks on the pole. Out of Chula Vista, California, it's the 12 of Chris Fritz. And to his outside, the Conway Racing C70 Motorsports and GFY Motorsports. It's the big man. It's James Koontz out of Bakersfield. Row number two has got the 2X of Darren Ballantyne from Chico. And on his outside from Bakersfield, the RPM collision all lit up graphics. Mom and Dad, Grandma and Grandpa, 5 Live Motorsports, Bakersfield, Paint Kills Transmission, Tim Paddock, and JR Motorsports, your 2018 Hobby Stock Track Champion here at Bakersfield Speedway. Cody Johnson. Then you pick up roll number three on the inside. It's the JRC Construction. Dave Schuyler, Race Smart, West Olive Wedding, and Lance Engine Shop. It's Jackie Roberts out of Tulare, California. And then we pick up the 91X, the Central Iron Metal, Big Brand Tire, Icon Pistons, Valley Wind Machines, Sideways Designs, and Lenny's Drilling and Pump. It's Michael Scruggs out of Porterville, California. Row number four from Lakeside, California, the 81, Greg Mann. And on his outside, the 91, sponsored by Little Caesars Pizza, it's Priest Mode, and Scotty Priest. And in the back, no, let me jump the gun, Mike, sorry. In the back, in the fifth row on the inside, everyone knows who this is. It's Ethan Dotson Racing and Golden Empire Tone. It's the big man. It's the boss. It's Wayne Dotson out of Bakersfield, California. Wayne Dotson hoping, hoping to do some more victory donuts in that machine like he did earlier today in his support mod. Rest of the crew getting back up there, getting in line so we can go racing. Now, Corey, you've been watching these guys in these hobby stocks. You're, this is one of your favorite classes. Now we've got new guys out here, fresh meat, so to speak, out here. What do you think of some of these guys who are seeing what we, what these cars have been doing out here and now coming out trying to compete? I love these cars. I love this class. If the new guys coming here to Bakersfield Speedway compete with guys like the Johnson family, <laughs> that, you're up against the odds right there. I mean, they, these guys know what they're doing. And I mean, keep your eye on that number 11 car. If you don't think I know what I'm talking about, watch that dude right there. There's a the reason he's the track champion, right? Oh, most definitely. Deep in the field, that number 74, Wayne Dotson. We know, I mean, the Dotson name's synonymous with victory here at Bakersfield mm -hmm. Speedway. You also there, got Michael Scruggs in the 91. Yeah, I was going to say, afraid, Scruggs in the 91. Not afraid to uh, I don't think you can count any that one of these around. guys out at this moment. You, you know? can't. You absolutely can't. Here we go. Green flag at a turn four from Doug Rudd. Oh, Hang oh. on. Coach kind of get a little crazy out of turn number four. That 5X machine getting sideways and everybody going, hey, you're supposed to be going forward, not sideways. The Here 5X comes. looks a little loose right now. Keep your eyes on Coots. Looks like a... Coots, a lot of loose. Possibly got a tire down. Yeah, that rear tire, that, that left rear tire. Looks Priest like mode it. going up on the wall. Ooh. In a little 50-50 grind on the front stretch. Caution flags out. Unfortunate for Scotty Priest as he got a little bit of that 5X and it shot him up the wall in a hurry. That was a wild first lap. Well, he does have a lot of rear end damage, so I don't know if he was helped or not. So, eh. Well, in that melee, I mean, with, with the 5X of, of Kuntz getting turned around and everybody having to touch their brakes and bumping and grinding, it's a possibility. Sounds like a dance song, bumping and grinding. <laughs> well, and then you get by with a little help from your friends. Can you do the robot with me real quick? <laughs> no, <just kidding. laughs> Wow. Yeah, that's got to be scary for not only Scott Pree Scotty Priest, but everybody behind him to watch that car jump up sideways. So uh, right now, your leader, the 12 machine. One of my buddies walking by, Jeremy Sly. Thanks for coming out to the racetrack, brother. Enjoy them. Chris Nachos, Fritz. you got there, bud? All right, lights have been turned out. Race fans, we're going to go back to green. It's still Chris Fritz out of Chow, uh, Chilla Vista, uh, California, out front. Then we pick up your 2018 Bakersfield Speedway track champion, the 11 of Cody Johnson, the 91X of Michael Scruggs, the 2X of Darren Ballantyne, and the 74, the big man of Wayne Dotson. Here we go, race fans. We're back to green. 